to my first ever video on my new series called glow it up this series is going to be how to glow up physically so we're going to be talking about how to smell good how to have smooth skin how to wear the right makeup for your face shape all of those things now I have a series on how to mentally glow up and that is my drive and girl talk series so if you're new to my channel and you have no idea who I am hi my name is Reyna I do beauty lifestyle and fashion videos but every single Tuesday I do either a glow it up series video or I do a drive and girl talk video so if you're interested in those topics and you want to level up your life girl I'm here to help you. I have all the tips that you need, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those future videos. Now, this first episode is going to be so fun because I'm gonna teach you how to smell good. Now, you want people walking by you past your air because everybody got some air to them. Because I know, I know that you guys have walked past some people and you're like, damn, they smell really good. And you look at them, you're like, dang, they smell good. And literally smelling good is the best way to up your attractiveness. And I know that you have also walked past people, you were like, mm, smell like shit. And that's why I'm here to help you guys smell like the first option and not the second option. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I walk past people and I hold my breath because they smell so bad. Don't be that person. So this video is going to be on how to smell good all day, including feminine hygiene tips. So the first thing we're gonna get started on is body care. Now, for me, I have very dry skin. I have eczema. So if you also have eczema, these products may work well for you and they may not. If you have normal skin, don't worry about all this talk. But if you have eczema, just realize that everyone reacts to things differently. If you have different skin types, it's okay. If you have a different skin type, honestly, it is all about trial and error because sometimes I will get certain fragrances and I'll break out and sometimes I'll get certain fragrances and I won't so it's all about trial and error find what you like find what you react to and just go by that so first thing is first body wash my favorite body wash ever is this raw sugar soap I love 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 their body wash this one is in the watermelon and fresh mint I love this because it absolutely takes over your whole entire bathroom and shower and that is the goal you want your body wash to be really really strong but you don't want it to be so strong that it's unbearable because the key with smelling good all the time is to use things consistently all of the time so you don't want to continue changing your body wash all the time and switching to this and switching to that you want to stick to the same thing every single day and that way it'll stick on you more easily so this is the body wash I absolutely loved I tried a lot of their other body washes but I keep going to this one so I definitely do recommend this it does have a watermelon -y smell like fresh fruit it's also very important to just pick what kind of smell that you want. For me, when I'm going out, obviously, and I have to get dressed nicely and stuff, I'll use more fancy stuff, classier smells. But for every day, I really like the fresh kind of smell. So as I was saying, once you get out of the shower and you're done with that, you always want to use a nice lotion. I use this nourishing lavender lotion. So you want to dab your body dry. And as soon as you get out the shower, hurry up and put your lotion on and what that does is once you wait later yeah this you will still have the scent on you but you won't have it stick on you as fast as if you just get out of the shower and you hurry up and apply it so for every day I use the lavender lotion but for fancier events I do use the Dior Je Adore collection I absolutely love the consistency it's so thick I've had it forever if you've seen my shower routine and if you haven't seen that go ahead and check that out but I listed that in one of them I really really love that Dior body cream it lasts forever I really do like body creams more than lotions for lotions I would say use every day but body creams is more for fancier events body creams are thicker but lotions are thinner so as for deodorant for my girls who are a little bit sweaty I feel you girl I have the best deodorant ever for you use native okay native 
look you guys see this oh it's behind you guys see this native okay native is something that is now my holy grail i will never go back to secret i will never go back to men's deodorant because i was using that I will always use Native. They have the best scents ever. I haven't sweat once with it, and it sticks on you for so long. So if you have problems with like your scent and your body odor when it comes to your armpits, I definitely recommend Native. But another tip for you guys, if you do feel like you're smelling more than usual around your private area or around your armpits, one of the things that can trap smells is having a lot of hair. So if you aren't shaved, you are gonna smell more because it traps odor. I'm not saying you have to shave all the time, but at least trim yourself and that could help a little bit with it. And last but not least, you wanna put a perfume on right after you apply your lotion and your deodorant. And what I like to do is I like to put it here, so put it right here. I like to do this, put it right there at my focal points, the back of your neck, okay? You want to do it on your ankles as well. And then you want to do it at the back of your knees, behind your knees. And what that does it is those are your biggest focal points. So you always want to spray perfume there because it'll last all day and it'll follow you throughout the day. So if you have any specific scents that you like, classier, more woody, flowery, things like that, comment that down below so I can give you suggestions on what I prefer. But yeah, if you have any scents that you preferably like, let me know too so I can check those out. But as I was saying, stick to the same scents every single day. When you stick to the same scents every single day, first of all, it lets people know how you smell, which is a really good thing because I love when I can identify somebody with a good smell. That's very attractive to me. So definitely do that. And the smell sticks on you a lot better when it's all over your clothes, all over your house. It would just be associated with you. So please make sure that you use the same scents. Don't jump around too much. Find a scent that you like and go and get it because you do not need to layer 5 million scents on you. All you need is a good three. If you can find a line that is consistent that you absolutely love the scent of and they have the same body care and they have the same body lotion, body perfume, body spray, all of that and it's a scent that you love, get that collection because it's so important that you use similar scents with each other. So now on to feminine hygiene. Feminine hygiene is very, very simple. People like to complicate it, but it's the most simplest thing ever. First of all, you do not have to shave all of the time and you don't have to shave to smell good. Yes, hair does trap odor, but feminine odor is very, very normal and natural. You shouldn't be smelling like strawberries or peaches and cream or anything like that. Your vagina should smell like a vagina. So don't let anybody make you feel insecure about that because it's just the truth. Now, on your cycle, or if you do feel like you're smelling a little bit more than normal, I do like the Summer's Eve. And what you're gonna do is put it on the outside. You're never gonna put it actually on your vagina because that's very, very bad for it because it cleans itself out naturally. So you're gonna put it around your area and you're gonna use your sponge to gently scrub around the area. Do not do too much because it's a very sensitive area and you don't want to be too harsh on it for feminine hygiene the main thing is your diet the way you taste more so has to do with your diet than what you put on physically so it's been proven that citrus fruits really do help the vagina taste better it gives it kind of a sweeter taste and another thing that may be surprising to you but celery also does take out bitterness in your vajayjay so if you eat a lot of coffee meat um, a lot of spices that can lead to your JJ tasting a little bit bitter and very strong so just keep that in mind yeah so the way you taste down there really has to do with what you eat rather than what you put on physically because you physically should not and cannot put anything in your vagina so please don't do that girls and as usual please wipe front to back not back to front because back to front you putting doo-doo on your shit so please do not do that wipe front front to back that's the best way okay <laughs> 
Last but not least, you need your laundry to smell really good because when your laundry smells good, it sticks to your clothes. So that is something you definitely need to keep in mind. What I use is I use the Tide Plant Base and I use that because like I said, I have eczema and, and I'm actually allergic to fragrance. So I like using the Plant Base because it's really good for my skin. And what you want to do to pair with your detergent, and this is really, really important, get these little fresheners now this is a sample pack you can get an actual bottle of it but these little fresheners let me show you guys it's like little beads so what you do is you put it in with your actual laundry and it makes your laundry smell so so good i love the gain because it smells so good and it sticks on your clothes forever I also love getting the unstoppable booster beads. Those are also really, really nice and they smell super good. You also cannot have good hygiene when you don't put in oral hygiene, okay? So I actually have a mechanic toothbrush and what I absolutely love about it is that it has a self timer for two minutes. So you should be brushing your teeth for two minutes every single morning and every single night. And you should be flossing before you brush your teeth. So I love the Glide flossers and I'm gonna have to get some more soon but I use this every day before I brush my teeth and this is really good because you get the plaque stuck in your teeth out before you brush your actual teeth and when you brush your teeth you want to brush your tongue and the roof of your mouth always 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 don't forget your molars in the back for toothpaste I use the 365 toothpaste I've been using this and uh, I've been using this forever so I definitely definitely recommend that so yeah girls that is it for this video I hope you all enjoyed so give me a thumbs up if you want to see more or if you have any suggestions for another glow it up episode please comment that down below and let me know what you want to see thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye